Hey there, on today's video, I'm unboxing my first handbag of 2024, which is not the handbag I thought I would be buying for my first handbag in 2024, but it is a handbag I've been wanting for quite some time. And a fellow YouTuber indirectly influenced me to buy this. They don't know that, but you'll find out why. Take it. Check out after the break. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My channel is about treating yourself to a little bit of luxury, whether that be your favorite fragrances, handbags, skincare, makeup, candles, all of those frivolous things that we love to treat ourselves to because we deserve it, right? I think I do. <laughs> I think you do too. So if you like those things, that kind of content, please consider subscribing, commenting, all the YouTube -y things that we love you to do and enjoy, I hope. Today, I'm unboxing a fashion file item, a bag I didn't think I would buy, and I'm noticing a trend in my latest acquisitions, or at least the acquisitions of 2023. It's pretty much been, if it's a great deal and I have a coupon, I'm probably going to buy it. There's like no rhyme or reason. And it this one, I've been eyeing this particular style of bag for quite some time and a fellow youtuber has one that's just gorgeous um and it's it's caleb and i've been like thinking about stealing his for like a year i'm like hey you know sell me it and i think he's quite in love with his so i have just been hunting down whenever i see one i put it as a favorite and think about it and i finally tracked one down on fashion file for a steal and then i had 10 percent off coupon so i was like you know what it's it's gonna make its way to me <laughs> so um it it's just kind of frivolous it's just something like i wanted to add it to my collection no real like intention behind it but it was a great deal um we'll see if it ends up being that great deal because i literally all i've done is open the box to make sure that it's in there but I haven't inspected it or done anything with it. So paper and all. And in the fashion file items. Oh, the confetti is all at the bottom. And it came with the file. It also came with the calendar, which is great because I didn't get one for 2023 at all. I was really disappointed, which is kind of stupid, but... Um, Last year, I made a bunch of purchases in the beginning of the year and didn't get one. But the year before that, I had like five. So I, I'm surprised they had run out of them so quickly. But good assortment of products, it looks like, there within it. And then, yeah, interesting. There is the, whoops, let me open it up to January. There's the January image. So very, very nice. February is for the love of jewels. I won't go through every month, but nice stuff. So yeah, good deal. So fashion file, let's open up. I do not think this came with its original dust bag, but that's okay. They never really do. So it's kind of a surprise when you get one. It is smaller than I thought. Um, I believe Caleb's is significantly larger than this. So again, I really wasn't looking at um, the size per se. It was the design and the style of the bag that intrigued me. The look um, in general was just really pretty. And I have been trending towards smaller bags. So I really wasn't that concerned with um, how big it needed to be, but it just needed to make sure it fit my phone and it would fit um, the general items that I had. And just a quick cursory look at the the dimensions, which I'll put on, on the screen, seemed it would be fine. But um, knowing that I did the quick kind of like, look, my God doesn't quite look like as big as the one that Caleb has. But anywho, it is the St. Laurent 
these two in kind of a gray black color. And I believe Caleb's is like a teal or blue. I can't remember the exact shade of his, but um, a very pretty uh, jewel tone. And this one just, just thought it was really cute. And I got it for like less than 400 bucks. So just a steal of a, of a deal in my opinion. Um, it has a little bit of right there. That's like the one point of damage on the bag, but it wasn't, it wasn't anything that was a, you know, deal ender for me. So new book, calfskin crocodile embossed news too. It has this pocket on the back that you can undo and that will very tightly fit my phone back there which is always a bonus and then a latch there um it's got a how do I describe this department store perfume smell <laughs> you know when you buy something at the department store and it's just like it's like every perfume counter possible like somehow it got all over the tissue paper and your stuff smells like that that's what it smells like like, like, like macy's it's, it's like the macy's department store bag <laughs> it's just so whoever had this bag obviously used a variety of fragrances and um was not that careful but to be honest the interior there's a slot back here it looks clean that looks clean as well let's try the zippered compartment see how that looks i mean either they didn't carry this bag hardly or compartmentalize like nobody's business because this is a suede interior there's nothing in here there's not a hair there's not a crumb there's not a stain that is immaculate like i don't have bags that i'm not that clean with my stuff so that's amazing you go <laughs> like way to go that's fantastic so incredibly good condition um the label is right here um it's smaller than like i said like what i thought but i think it will fit everything that i'm hoping it will fit and other than that one little piece of i said it's kind of like a um chipped off little piece of the finish right there other than that I think it looks pretty good it has feet and it also has which I thought was unique these like ridges right here and they're leather but it's like additional feet and it's hard to describe those I mean the feet are worn down but it's just a really interesting like extra layer of protectant on there so I thought that was really interesting to um to have be a part of the bag so very interesting and then um you can latch down these little straps even more which I don't think I will do I mean it's just an extra layer of busyness <laughs> That I don't think I'm gonna to bother with but I really like it um and I don't know if I'll do this but because of the little um hooks right here or the little um o-rings right there I know it's wouldn't wouldn't be ideal but I probably would find some way to attach one of my straps to it to make it um a shoulder bag or a crossbody because it would just be more versatile that way. So it's just real cute. I just think it's really fun. Um, like I said, I've always admired K 
Caleb's and when I saw it, I just thought it would be, would be fun. So it's not, it's not large. You get up here and kind of compare it to, so it's about what, a third of the size, two thirds of the size of the Trevi. I'd say it's about comparable to the Elma here in size, as far as what you can keep inside it. And then as far as the Fendi Peekaboo goes, just slightly smaller because it's quite expansive and the Peekaboo tends to um, just be a little bit, that Peekaboo at least, be a little bit difficult to get in and out of um, easily. So I don't feel like I can put too much. Whereas this, I could probably pack up quite um, well and carry carry a bit in there. So I'm I'm not mad at it. I think it's really pretty. So I'm really I'm really intrigued to start using this one. It because of the suede kind of nubic um, material. I'm a little hesitant to use it course we start the rain season so um I'm not necessarily afraid of the rain per se with this I'll have to ask Caleb and see what his thoughts are but I I wouldn't want to go out and slush with this um as it is so I think it's really cute and very reasonable and one of YSL's I think unique um silhouettes it's there's not any real external branding. I don't think there's any, any on the hardware other than the feet have YSL markings down there. But other than that, you, unless you know, you don't know, <laughs> you, you have to, you have to understand and know this, um, design to know it's a YSL bag. So very under the radar, which I like, um, it's actually kind of sad how oh, she's kind of without her stuffing inside she's kind of small and <laughs> sits there but we're gonna see what all will fit inside um this size of me I mean that looks it's pretty spacious and then this component down here it's it's kind of loose in there so things can fly all around so we really need to make sure we have items in um kind of pouches and such. So um, I think I'm gonna try to go this route, but I may need to go with an actual wallet instead to go inside here. But this is what we're gonna start with and go from there. So I think we are going to put, I have a sunglass case, um, my pre go sunglasses I've been favoring right now. I think I'm going to put that in the back to take up some space and on the bottom to stop the inevitable movement from happening. So that back there and maybe the catch-all as well if it will fit. And that will be actually quite snug between the two, but I was fitting, oh, hitting all my nail polishes. Okay, so those back there, I think the spare car keys also, since I don't grab those very often, we will do the main card case here in the front area, the main car keys, here in the front, my phone here in the front. I don't want to open up the zipper compartment at this stage. I'm going to put the pens in the back as well. So that's kind of what we're looking at. I may put the phone in the back because this is getting kind of and I haven't put in put my yeah I think we're gonna put the phone in the back put the coin inside here Down. Okay. 
keep this open and phone. Yeah, I think that's gonna have to be it. So she can hold a lot. That's heavy. That is not light. So she can definitely hold a lot. It is a little fussier than I like, but she's cute. She will do. I wish she had a strap and maybe there is something I can finagle. It has the O-rings here, but yeah, we'll have to play around and see if that makes sense. But oh my gosh, goodness, she's a, she's a heavy girl for being that small. But it does seem that that's doable. I'm gonna undo those just to make that a little bit easier. I'm telling you, having a giant phone is not the most, most fun, but it does fit back there quite easily. So that's not gonna be a problem. It may just slip out way too easily. Might be better to put the keys back there, but it's not anything I'm griping about. But yeah, so far so good. Yeah, so I think it's a good addition to my to my wardrobe for 2024 and a good neutral color. So let me know your thoughts. And um, if you have this bag, how is it held up for you? I mean, it's definitely from the, you know, archive, so to speak. Um, not a not a spring chicken, but I think it's really cute. So I think I'm going to have just a fun time with this, this handbag. So I, I really like it. Let me know.